Hey guys, so please excuse the mess back there. This video was all over the place. This is the video I told you guys I recorded, but the lighting was off. But you guys told me to post it anyway. This is a full face drugstore look. It's a really simple, just like purple eye. Um, nothing too crazy or too special, honestly. It's kind of just like a bland look. But, um, I don't know, you guys wanted me to post it, so here I am posting it. And I'm sorry about the lighting, it's a little bit off in this video. And I'm just a hot mess in this video, but let's get on with the tutorial. The first thing I'm doing is priming my eyes with the Jessie's Girl primer. I'm just packing this on my lid and letting it sink into my eye. And then I'm taking Maybelline Toughest Taupe. This is a color tattoo. And I'm applying this to my lid. I definitely should have applied a black base instead because the purple did not pop on this base at all. I don't know why. I guess it was because it was gray. But I did this look like before this day with a black base and I liked it so much better but I didn't record it and I had lost <laughs> the black base. Crazy. So I decided to use gray and I definitely recommend using a black base because it just makes the purple pop so much more. But this is the closest thing I had to black, sort of, so I used a gray base. I'm going to put tape on the side of my eye and then I'm going to jump into the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette. I'm taking this really pretty pinky shade and I'm going to use this as my transition color. I am just buffing this all over my crease with a fluffy brush. This is a Sigma E40 and I am just packing that on all over my crease. Wow, I feel like I was talking really fast there. I'm going to take this purpley gray color and on a more precise blending brush, I am just putting this into my crease again, but this brush is a little bit smaller. This is a Morphe brush, the gunmetal brushes, and I am just blending that out some more. Going into my e.l.f. Prism palette in Sunset, I'm taking the purple and then I'm gonna start packing this on my entire lid. As you can see, I feel like the gray just kind of sucks as a base because it doesn't let the eyeshadow pop. When I used the black, I didn't need to use Fix Plus. But as you can see, this kind of calls for some Fix Plus, and I know Fix Plus isn't a drugstore, but you can use eye drops. I'm just going to apply some Fix Plus, dip it back into the eyeshadow, and then start packing this on my entire lid. It's going to make the eyeshadows a lot more vibrant. Then I'm going to take the same purpley gray color I used. And I'm just going to try to blend out the purple just a little bit so that there aren't any harsh lines in my crease. This eyeshadow look looks really fugly before it starts to look pretty. Like it looks a little bit messy before it looks good. I'm going to go back into that pinky shade and blend out the gray just a little bit. I'm going to go into this charcoal grayish brown color and I'm going to start packing this on my outer V and then dragging it into the crease. And mainly focusing the pigment right at the tape so it's a lot darker on the outer V than it is on the rest of my eye and then I'm just gonna drag it in and blend everything together. Then I'm gonna take the black in this palette. It's a very pigmented black so be careful but I'm gonna do the exact same thing I just did with the previous shade only I'm not gonna take the black into the crease that much at all. Just focusing it on the outer V so it looks a little bit deeper and smoky. Then I'm going to take this purpley gray once again and just blend everything out. Because of all the blending, a lot of the purple kind of went away, so I'm just packing it onto my lid again to make the purple a little bit more vibrant. I'm going to take this white shade and I'm going to apply this to my brow bone, but it wasn't enough for me so I'm taking the shimmery white in the e.l.f. palette and I'm just adding that underneath my brow bone. I'm layering those two and then I'm going to do the exact same thing in my inner corners. For some eyeliner, I'm using the LA Girls Gel Eyeliner in Very Black with just an angled brush. And putting tape on the side of your eye is perfect if you are not very good at gel eyeliner because it gives you kind of like a guide so you don't mess up and don't go over the tape. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, before I finish um, my 
the rest of my eyes, I'm going to move on to my face. I am priming my face using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And then I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. And I completely forgot that my self tan had completely faded at this point. So this uh, foundation is for when I'm a little bit more tan. Um, I tried to make it work, but it is a little bit darker than my skin at the moment. So I have to self tan again so that my foundation can fit me. But I really love this foundation. It gives a nice dewy finish. So yeah, I tried to blend that out as well as I could. Oh my gosh, my dogs. I'm gonna take my LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Natural. I'm gonna sing a little bit, apparently. And then I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes. It looks like I'm putting a lot, but it blends out really nicely. And then I'm gonna highlight my face with this as well. All over the place. I'm just putting it all over the place, apparently. Yeah, oh, sexy, yeah. I'm going to blend that out using a Morphe brush. This is like a pointed buffer brush, I believe that's what it's called. It's great for blending out concealer. If you hear my dogs in the back, I mean, this is my life now, so. I'm going to set my concealer using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 135 Creamy Natural. I love this powder because it gives like a reflex reflect to it. It's really pretty. I'm going to take this Endless Eyeliner from LA Girls. This is a purple color and I'm going to apply that to my waterline and then I'm going to take that gray purple color and just smoke it out. Really blend out that purple eyeliner. Then I'm going to go into that pinky shade and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Then I applied mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I was just trying to kind of speed up the process, so I did it off camera because my sun was completely going away, as you could probably tell. The lighting is super, super bad at this point. But I'm taking my NYC bronzer in Montauk Bronze, and I'm just bronzing my face, warming up my face a little bit on my cheeks and on my forehead. And yeah. Then I'm going to take this blush from NYX, it's called Mauve, and I'm just applying that to my cheeks. I don't know why I made that face. For my highlight, I'm taking the pinky little boxes in this Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip in Naturally Nude, and I'm applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. So the pinky little boxes give such a pretty glow to the face. I really love this product. And then I'm going to take some powder and I'm going to powder over my lips a little bit because the lipstick I use looks a lot better on lips that aren't as pigmented as mine. And that is the L'Oreal Collection Privé. I hate the taste of this. The Collection Privé Lipstick in Jennifer's Nude. And then that completes this makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry the lighting sucked and this video was kind of weird. But please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!